This is what coming back from vacation and starting a new job at the same time looks like. Keep watching to see me get my life back in order and clean this mess up. I just got back from vacation last weekend so this whole week I kind of and this whole week I've started a new job too so I haven't really been able to uh, keep up I start my mornings off by blasting the music and taking my alcohol with me. So we're gonna do that. I haven't gone to the gym in like three weeks. So I am trying to kind of get back into the routine. And part of that is I take L-glutamine every single morning because I don't know, I don't know if this is true or not, but I used to be, I'm like, I get bloated. Like I'm a bloated person. Um, but since I started taking it, it kind of like reduced it a little bit. I started wearing sunscreen. I know you're supposed to, and I just, I have it but hopefully it's not too late to start so i'm gonna do i don't usually do much for the gym because i shower after anyways and then i do my skincare then um but i'm just gonna do a little bit of sunscreen and a little bit of like tinted um moisturizer so that's what i'm gonna do i use the i honestly use almost all la roche Posse products like if you guys saw my Cleanser, it's either La Roche Posay or Dermatologic Dermalogica. Those are the two. So like see, like I use everything La Roche. So just gonna do that really quickly and then we will head out. And then I just do the Fenty Beauty. So I don't usually put on tinted anything or makeup on my face when I'm going to the gym, but I kind of haven't been feeling the best about my skin, so just covered it up a little bit. Like, I'm not embarrassed. Like, it is what it is. Like, but, I mean, I care enough to where I feel a little bit more confident um, putting it on, you know? So, and I'm going to the gym, so I want to feel as confident so that I can do the most so I can get the best workout in basically I'm back home and I was gonna stop at um, Pollo Loco to get like a chicken bowl but I didn't so I'm gonna see if I can make a quick little something I literally, I literally almost threw up at the gym. I haven't gone in three weeks and this is my third day going and we burned, we burned 744. So it's pretty good, but I think my body is still not used to that. So I'm just gonna drink this really quickly. If I'm still hungry, I'll make like eggs or something. Yeah, I'll probably make eggs and then I will start picking up. So for me, it's really hard to um, like take protein because I'm a picky eater. But this one, this I can drink this over and over again. Powders, I literally can't do it. Like the chalkiness grosses me out. And if I like eat too much chicken, I'll start gagging. I try to like switch it up and eat salmon or like red meat but i don't know i just don't like it so i'm trying to incorporate more veggies so i can be in a deficit um 
and trying to put in more protein in my diet too here and there um, and just kind of being more mindful so yeah this is what it's called it's called only what you need the cold brew coffee um taste has been my favorite i haven't tried any other ones because this one just kind of does it for me but i'm sure they're pretty good they're all good Stainless steel cleaner and polish. I don't know, I feel like it kind of makes it more greasy, but I bought it, so I still use it. And then basically, and I have no idea if this is a correct form. Like, ugh, I don't know. Nobody come for me in the I'm doing laundry right now so that's why there's a mess but I'm just gonna put everything away clean up Mm 
The kitchen's basically clean. Um, I caved and I ordered Hoyo Loco just because I'm like kind of busy and I don't want to dirty the kitchen that I just cleaned. Uh, so I just ordered a chicken bowl for, it's honestly my first meal of the day. Okay, mukbang. They gave me hella. I love that for me. Okay, so I mentioned being a picky eater earlier, but this is always something. I'm gonna add a little bit more salsa. Um, also, I'm allergic to avocado, so I have no idea why I got this. Um, maybe I could leave it for my husband when he gets back. So I've been reading this book. It's called Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. And it's so good. Like, I just started and I tried to finish it yesterday, but I got scared. Um, it's not like scary in the sense of like horror, but it's scary in the sense of like basically people go missing and people die. Like I guess real life scary, but if you guys haven't read it, I seriously suggest reading it because it's so good. Like I want to finish it this weekend. But <laughs> I'm going to have to do it during the daylight because then I get scared. Got to shower, finish my skincare. Um, it's not a hair wash day today. Um, I'm going to wash it tomorrow, Sunday for a clean restart. See you guys in a bit. So I'm going to do my skincare. I heard that if you put a little bit of water before you put your hyaluronic acid that it's supposed to absorb it better i use this one the dermalogica circular hydration serum I use this also Thermalogica moisturizer and I use it because I feel like I have like oily skin and this doesn't like make it worse. It feels very hydrating and very moisturizing but it doesn't leave that like thick feeling sometimes moisturizers have. Like it dries into the skin I don't know if that makes sense so it doesn't make my oiliness worse is basically what I'm trying to say oh I feel so hydrated and I used to not hydrate or moisturize because I felt because I have oily skin that it would make it worse um so I used to never do that until recently and honestly like I can feel the difference like my skin just like drinks it up and i guess the important part is just finding the product that works for you for your skin um because i did try like other moisturizers but they're just too thick especially in the daytime if you're going out and stuff um this doesn't feel like that like it feels it feels comfortable so yeah that's just one thing and there it is. I'm not going to put on makeup because I'm home. Like, I don't care. Um, so, yeah. I need to work on getting this removed. I think I might do microblading. I don't know if that's the right word, but, like, like the pigmentation. Like, it's just the scarring. It's not actually pimples. This one, this one. Like, only this one is a pimple. It's 
so it's 8 30 and i'm cooking um some dinner just some some steak it's like thin beef steaks 